I suppose tearing people's houses down in January is a bad thing to do. Unless you want to be that nasty dude. Oh, oh, did we just have a death? Well, welcome back, everybody. Dracox is with the Yan, and we're back playing some more Manor Lords. Um, uh, winter has come, and uh, I, I, I've, I've been away. Um, so this game doesn't, in, in its, uh, well, the, by the time you guys get this, it'll probably be out of demo mode. By the time you get this third installment, um, I had five episode, four episodes recorded, so I had two after this, I think. And, um, and basically, uh, what happened was, uh, it crashed. It blue screened on me. So I had to restart. And then it blue screened on me again. So hopefully, uh, third time's the charm. And, uh, so what I had to do to restart was to find, wait until I rolled this same spot again and rebuild everything. And, well, we're back into winter and we're still, surprisingly, even with more experience, still, uh, sitting at a food crisis. Well, sort of crisis. Uh, I know the foragers have, or, the, sorry, the hunters have access to some food. Um, the slight change, the berries, berries and, uh wild animals instead of the wild animals berries and berries so those have changed our mine actually is still here it it can random a few spots in this spot and these can random whether they're berries or uh, wild animals as well as uh what also changes as you re-roll is your layout so we had a better um better situation last time there's some very bad well it's really hard to tell in the winter but we have some very bad deals with barley Barley's right in the middle of town. There is also a patch down here, and I believe, oh yeah, over here, there's some barley options. Flax is okay through the middle there in the forest. And emmer or grain wheats is actually best right up at the edge of the town here. Uh, but it's also good through there. It's hard to tell with the snow. But anyways, it's winter. We have, uh, we have, our, have we had our first trades? We've had like maybe one. There we go, for four bucks we made. So we're going to progress along fairly aggressively here. I have an idea or a, a certain plan as to how I'm going to lay this out. And uh, we're going to go from there because I, I have some some hopes and dreams and hopefully the game won't crash on me until then. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it was it was a bit of a, a frustration, you might say. And then I had like five days of solid work out of the house, so I wasn't able to uh, get any quality time to do recording. So... Here comes our merchant. See if that merchant uh, cashes in for us. We've got a whopping four coins right now. Oh, oh, I was going to say no, but we got another 44 coins. Nice. So what we're doing is selling uh, pelts and, uh, well, hopefully eventually selling leather. And then I think I've got the uh, buy order to import to maintain one tool. So that gave us another tool. That's useful for later. 48... It's actually going to be a good option here. Let's start up here, and we'll switch this guy down and get the goats going. That's lovely. And I have these three over here. And I think... Oh, we don't have any... Oh, no. Did I build those with the wrong size? Oh, no. Those aren't burgage plots. They were last time. Uh, one, two, three, four... Yeah. Oh, I don't even have the space. Yeah, those don't show burgage plot. Maybe this last corner is just not big enough? Well, I don't like that idea at all. Um, yeah. That's very unfortunate. Those those all have to change. So, okay. Well, let's make that happen right away. As far as the road goes. So, I did alt here and that'll remove this road. And then if I start this road over again up here. I must have just not paid attention when I was placing it. Because I was... Ooh, I was trying to build uh, fairly quickly. I could try to catch up to where we were, but... Let's go around a little further out. Probably doesn't need much more than just a, a fraction of more space. Um, you know what? I'm doing wrong. This whole thing. I should start, like, here. We should go like this. Out... Like, I don't know, like that. Get it out here. Just make some some definitive lines there. So we can separate them if needs be. Go. 
We'll go up here a little further. Good. I like this little curved fun we got going here. I, I hope it'll turn out the way I intend. But it's, uh, it's a funky shape for now, anyways. Uh, well, let's uh, buzz on through winter. It is December. We have our merchants trying to sell some stuff. We, we could do some buying of food, if needs be. It's, uh... I think I did either first or second year. This is the end of the first year, I think. And I think I did have to end up buying a little bit of food last time to maintain things. I'm not sure. don't remember. Uh, so let's hold on. Let's go ahead and build. We have the lump. We do have the logs for more slot plots. So. So two, two steps. When you start here, you go two steps on the front. That gives you a face, a uh, minimum facing for housing. Like that. We'll go out to the road and we'll go back to here. That's pretty good. That should give us the space we need. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, well, I don't want to demolish that yet. Can I expand these? Hold on. Is there a way to expand it? Um, okay, let me, let me think about this. If I were to... Book extension slot shows that. No, no. If I were to go like this... They're gonna... Let me do... Oh, I don't have the log for I do have the log for it. Uh, okay. So that won't work. Hmm. Plot is too small. I think I... I think I do have to take these down. A what? Asking... What? A what? What did that just say? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Something... Something funky happened there. Alright, that's fine. I mean, I kind of expected it. There you go. Now there's the cross for the expansion. Okay. Get some of these houses built. <clears throat> Let's see. We still have the food. We still have the firewood. And we are well on into December. That's good. Haven't made any more cash flow yet. But if we can prioritize this baby right here, that would be lovely. Although this one is actually getting built, so... Let that one happen, and then we'll immediately put the, uh, the chicken coop in. We have 25 bucks per uh, per backyard animal pen. So this one right here has goats in it, and it should now start producing. There you go. There's our first milk coming out. Nice. So now we have a new fo source of food. So we've got berries from the summer, well, spring through till fall. I have a little bit of bread left over, and we have meat. Uh, but now we also have uh, milk. Now this one's ready. Let's go ahead and this guy gets the chickens first. And instruction started. And that'll get us our eggs. Lovely. And I'd like this deleted then. And that deleted. Good. Shocking news to the neighbors. Oops. One, two, three, four. Boom. There. Uh, what's going on? Do I not have the logs for that? One, two, three, four, there. 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 Excellent. Aha. Okay. Oh, oh, what happened? Stocks damaged due to weather. No. Darn you freezing all my stuff. Silly winter. It is January. I don't know why I said it like that, but it's John Uh I have three people working in the in the in here, and I think that might be more than overkill with our current layout. So let's do that. We don't have a lot of logs right now. Uh, we got somebody in the granary. We got somebody in the storehouse. We've got two people in the hunting lodge. We got zero in the foragers because it's offline. Here, our well is different this time too because uh, apparently also with the build. With the randomness of the map, the oh you can't even see it. Barely see the blue line throwing throwing there. The underwater uh underground water changes, so do all the crop. I don't know about smelliness, but the rest changes. With each reroll, your positions of your trees won't, the king's road won't change. Um, but the where what deposit the number of deposits doesn't change. Like for instance, oh what is this? A salt deposit. That's different. Conquest locked in the demo, I know. Uh, this uh, tile is salt here. Uh, I think we had clay maybe last time. Uh, and the layout over here is a little different. Got a couple hunting spots there. That'll be nice. I think this hunting would be a good next choice, but salt's interesting. There's a little bit of a rough start, rough spot, but that's fine. 
Oh, we're down by the river. My bad. Where, where's, where's home? Hello, home. Where'd you go? Right there. Bumbleberg. It actually shows the name up top too, which is a. What are we? The horseshoe? Horseshoe town of Bumbleberg. What is this? Cold. Cold. Yeah, I know. Peasants require fuel and shelter in the winter. Otherwise, they can get sick and or even freeze to death. Yeah. Do I have? Have I have I frozen some of them or something? Is that what's going on? I might have frozen some of them because of a la because of the shifting of the housing. I suppose tearing people's houses down in January is a bad thing to do unless you want to be that nasty dude. Oh oh! Did we just have a death? Socks, socks damage in food and firewood socks. No, both of those are bad. But we do have a homeless family, so really, come on, finish it up, guys, finish it up. Barn raisin for the family, the Hans family, or who is this? Yes, Hans and Hans and family. Okay, they got in there. That's good. Shelter is uh, achieved once more. We need a church and we need a burg another burgage plot. And so we'll get those when we get that. And the church was going to go down here. Um, I like this layout. So we're going to have the church somewhere down here. We're going to have the the pub over here. So we'll have like, yeah, I think that'll work. Let's switch the snap button here and put it right between these two spots here are we gonna need 12 oh no 12 trees get uprooted that's what that means uh let's go ahead and focus our area of workmanship work womanship work person person huper body ship whatever the proper terms are these days uh and we're gonna go right we're gonna go right in here and say go ahead and make that happen okay lovely uh, storage limit reached. Yeah, it's just a stockyard. I'm fine with that. Oh, the other thing I wanted to buy again is more of these guys. So uh, not export. I want to import to maintain a uh, three oxen. That should be sufficient, I guess, for now. How's our food? All right, two months of food. It is March, though, so we are golden. Have the berries respawned yet? Not quite. I have a couple available families, couple unassigned families. Um, kind of want more work done in the firewood. We're going to go ahead and put, uh, as soon as that berry plop, plops down with growth there, families of joining. Good. New families have arrived. Excellent. Okay, so we need more population. There's one more burgage to go in there. That'll get us past our, well, it's already 11. That's 12, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Good. Okay, and I want, uh, now, I want this stuff cleared here, too, so let's do this smartly. Put another body on there. And berries are not quite in uh, season yet. They'll come in somewhere in the middle of March, I believe. So you can mouse over this, and it says resource, uh, seasonal resource. We're down to 20 wild animals, so we did thin out everything we got there. So the hunters uh, should be, there we go, drop that hunter. We're going to go put foragers... To at least three. I'd like to thin out some numbers somewhere else. We're going to drop one of those guys. How many more foragers do we need? That's it for the foragers? Good. And I'm short one body. So let's go ahead and pull one off here. Uh, Actually, firewood guy can probably go away. Well, yeah, firewood guy is going to go away for now. I want all three woodcutters going. Now, the building the church in here is going to cause... Uh, trees to be uprooted no matter what we do because apparently when you cut down the trees they seem to not go away now I, I think that might be the indication that you know maybe most over there you can see they're kind of highlighting but yeah these ones up here are they're very obviously highlighting what's happening here too right so there's like a dozen or more trees in here that can be used uh but i like the idea of the church there that seems like a fine choice um it just looks good there I just like it there. Uh, but but we have cut the trees, I do believe. So we can test that by going here. The lodge. Do this and hold control. Uh, no, that's not it. Control. That's the, sh that's the wrong button. That was shift or space or something. And then we go like this. And we tell them, you know, here's the place you can work. And only that place. And we let time pass. And if there's a pop-up here that warns us uh, that we're, you know, out of resources, then, uh, then we'll know. Oh. All right, we got 
some do we get any sales we got 66 bucks in hand <laughs> we are very rich there's a tree top down there i saw and i see somebody standing around in the forest here looks like they are getting some lumber out of there i want to thin it until they run out of lumber and then we'll start start chopping up there next i wonder if we could even go for another timber lot it might be that might be overkill though we have available there's another sale we're now at 78 bucks okay let's go ahead over here add another goat we'll go over here and add a neighbor the chickens why that way i'm not sure i do like the more gardens though well we've got a tool so we'll use that up all right now we got two tools or two tools two gardens plots two chicken plots and two um goat plots so we should be able to handle next winter a little better on the food department i want to thin down as much of these berries as i can so i want to use, get as much of those berries in at the end of this by the end of the season so we keep got to keep on top of that i want to keep the speed up as well how are we doing on more of these guys we get any yet no oh no we didn't and we didn't buy anything okay we got 28 bucks we could put another plot in but i think we'll leave it for now, a bit of cash isn't a bad idea in hand. How are we doing on the berries? Apparently we're still, like, full on berries. Okay, we need to... So what we need to do next is to upgrade. So this is the big hurdle everybody's been going through. And I have yet to get it to, to succeed myself either. So we're on a journey together here. Um, clothing types, I've gotten uh, uh, cloth and leather working. So we can get a tannery. Probably a good idea to do that actually right now. So let's go to industry and get the tannery. I made this plot here behind a little path here to allow us to build in behind here. So we'll put that plant spot down there. We'll put the weaver opposite of it. So let's go right like that. There's eight more dollars. Oh, rich, rich, rich. Oh, there's another four. Man, these merchants going, making us so much money. Uh, this one, however, I want to pause. So we'll have the weavers there, but until we get actual material into the weaver's hut, it's kind of redundant to have it there. What's this? What's going on there? Oops, wrong button. Continue. All right. Why? Oh, it's paused again. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. There we go. So this guy I want built because that's going to start taking our uh, leather. Sorry, our hide or pelts, is it called? They are called pelts, I believe. So bring our pelts and get them into uh, um, production as leather. So I can go over here. And I'm going to say uh, to maintain 25 is probably okay. And then when you have 25 leather, go ahead and sell those. They'll let a little bit of the pelts build up. Hopefully enough to, uh, to feed this leather working shop. Which needs a person on it. Good. Uh, how are we doing in the... Forestry department. How are you guys still collecting wood? Like, where are you guys? Anyways, huh? Where are you, peeps? Oh, they're in there cutting them trees. All right, then. Very well. Very well. Not farewell. Very well. Somebody hanging out at the gardens over there. Okay. Going inside and waiting. Going elsewhere, waiting and waiting and procrastinating and procrastinating. Are we just out of lumber? All right, that's it. That's enough out of you people and your wasteful behavior. I'm gonna plop this right at oh, uh, not enough resources. We need eight logs to do it. We have four of them there, but nothing's happening with them because we haven't gotten our oxen friend uh, enhanced yet. Where's our ox? There he is. What's our ox's name today? Hey, Endris. Endris the ox. All right. Go, Endris, go. We need, uh, what is it, to buy these? Ten bucks a piece for the oxen. I feel like that's really cheap. Pretty potent uh, creatures to be getting for only ten bucks a piece. So, like, two pieces of leather is worth more than a full oxen? I feel like this is in a, in imbalance. But that's okay. We're in, like, demo early mode, so no problem there. More logs, more logs, please. I wonder if we lose anything buried here. No, it says not enough resources. We don't have the eight of them stored. I don't think they actually have to store them. I think they just have to cut them down. 
I find this odd that you guys have not... Oh, there you go. You want to go cut down more trees? All right. Chop them up into some luggage. All right. I approve. Get rid of this uh, space so we can... I mean, we're going to destroy the... Oh, there we go. It's only uprooting five trees now? Oh. So they are finding uses for the trees. Okay. That's not bad. Clearly, there's more work to be done there. I don't want to rush them. I really, really don't want to rush them. How are we doing on leather production? Hey, look at that. We has leather. Sort of. He has very little of it. Yeah, we have, like, a couple made. <laughs> All right, that's not a lot, but it's something. Did you just go stock our leather? You're a good soul. I don't care what the rest of them say about you, man. All your stinky leather work is amazing, Hans. He knows how to make warm clothes after the trouble we put him through. It is already June, guys. It's already June. We really need those, uh, those more livestock. As soon as we get another one or two uh, oxen, we should be pretty happy with that. Six trees to uproot, five trees to uproot, five trees. Oh, come on. Do we, do we rush it? You know what? I, I am going to, because our next step, we need to get our next step moving forward. So let's say uh, we're going to need, how much for this? Five more logs? Okay. Five timber for the brewery. So building the brewery is uh, half useless. Um, partial, well, not really. But it, it's a bit useless because we don't have um, we don't have the supply of resources to fill it. We don't have any um, any breweries making some goody good tasty stuff. Uh, so let's do this and down there. Put the mine in. That's good. The church is being constructed now. Excellent. I like it. I like it in that little nook there. It's got all those. That forest stuff around it and lush green pastures behind. It's so good. It's going to be a bit, though, before we can get the the next tech up. This uh, comforts and conveniences, I'm sure somebody's gotten through there, but that somebody's just not me yet. So I'm sure it'll work. It is now August. And we're still... Well, we got six months of food. All right, let's go ahead and get a uh, fire worker, a firewood cutter going here and some more housing up this way. Uh, I'm going to need this. Oh, looks like we got some more money. 70 bucks. Um, we can go that far, eh? Oh, no, no. There. To... Oh, come on. I don't want that. I do not want it to do that. There to there. Now, see, that's not right. Oh, we go here to there, there, to. I don't want it to link that way. No. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can cheat this thing away by going like that. That worked. Okay, good. Now, try this again. There. Now it's not going to try to link to that. Yay! And I need eight logs. Of course, I don't have that many. Um. Hey, Bumbleberg has increased its level. Excellent. The beautiful church. The holy church of the purple turtle has arisen. It's not much to see, but there it is. Oh, and somebody's already going in to tell their, their stories of the great purple turtle. All right. Next is... Once these uh, logs are in, mining pit is done. Good. Let's go ahead and put uh, a person. No, we will not. Will not put a person into work there. The church doesn't actually have to be managed or maintained, which is nice. I'm sure more will come of that later. All right. How are we doing on food? We have seven months worth of food. I'm going to drop a forager because I have a feeling like we've, yeah, we've already exhausted one of them and one of them. Another one is partially uh, being chomped up. That's fine. We got three people on the logging. We'll drop one there. And then I want, uh, three workers on the wood cutting for, uh, log chop or for firewood chopping. 
splitting some logs. Or you can do what we did it when we were camping the other day. Not the other day. A couple weeks ago. A month ago. Um, took the family out to uh, the, to my wife's uh, cabin. And uh, there was a big fire pile there. They have a little you know, fire pit. And nicely set up and everything. Her brother's done a phenomenal job on the, uh, on the yard. Ooh, there's a good chunk of change. And there's our first message of work area not working. And that is the logging camp. Good. Okay, so we've cleared out all the useful trees here. Now it's just the little shrubbery and stuff behind. That's all right. Relocate this guy up to do uh, some of this. Let's say we go a bit bigger here. We're going to go like this. Actually, I want the whole space here to be chomped up. Do just that, boys. Boom. Excellent. Um, so anyways, yeah, we had, uh, we had a nice little fire pit, so eh? we got the big, uh, big log chopping going on. It wasn't, it didn't have a teepee on it, but it had a little stand on it. But we had the fire pit and some, some of these sort of logs, right, sitting around. And then the fire, uh, the log stack that he's got there is pretty darn epic. And, uh, man, I don't, I don't get them quite bundled up that quickly. Uh, but her brother's got quite a set of... I love their walking. Quite a set of uh, uh, firewood stock and everything. But there's the one pile of this stuff is starting to rot. And there was one of these that wasn't useful as a setting one anymore because the center was rotted out. And uh, so we made... I think it's called a, either a Swedish candle or Norwegian something. I don't remember. Uh, but it's basically where you like split the log and then you chisel out the middle and then you wire it back together and you light the fire inside. Pretty awesome, but this one I just bored out the like slightly rotten stuff out of the middle and kindled a fire inside it. And man, that was amazing! Little trench underneath, and the air was sucking in there. And when you, when you got that roar, it was—I'm not exaggerating—it was taller than my head. Like it was a good seven feet in the air, a spew and just—you could hear the roar of the thing. It was amazing. So yeah, if you ever want to have a fun time with that. You can stick, you know, just stick a metal grate or something up there, a little iron grate up there, or a cooking pot to get some airflow, and a good cooking pot. You could boil a, a pot of a cast iron pot of water up there, ridiculously fast, I'm sure. I have an issue with this road right here. This little chunk of road and this little chunk of road. Let's and this little chunk of road. There we go. Let's go from here and make this a little more, a little more. Hold on, a little more uh, reasonable as far as it's. It's curvature. That's better. Oops, okay, that works too. Like that, and we'll go through there. Wonderful. All right, better. I like how it's thick in front of the in front of like people's houses. And the fins out here. It'd be nice if the thickness like matched like this and so on. But that's alright. How are we doing? We got some leather set up? <coughs> Looks like we do. Okay. Alright, we got eleven leather in there. Do we have any in the market? No, it seems. Okay. That's fine. The market is pretty much empty, which is not great. We have eighty eight bucks in hand. Uh it is September. I would sure love to get these houses in and another let's put another chicken coop over here go ahead with another chicken plot there Blah. and uh, we can put in another uh, goat pen over here I know it's early it's a little odd time oh we don't have the uh, the tools yet for the vegetables well what's going on really oh what no you can't have possibly removed all that. It's right there, dude. I'm I'm a little I'm a little disbelieving, friend. I I, I do not agree. <laughs> all of these trees are listed as as not accessible. Uh, mm, I'm gonna go ahead and call you on that one, friend. Let's bring this in and. Uh, Let's tell him he's got to work this space. There you go. Come on. There you go. 
Something was weird about that, but that's fine. So we got 68 berries left in there. We got two folk working on the berry production. We do have seven months worth of food. Only four on the firewood, but we got firewood going with a couple workers. Uh, we have our granary and our storage worker running still, yeah? Yeah, that's good. And what, only one person down here, yeah? So we really need more housing. Really, really need more housing. We got eight plots. Let's go ahead and get more housing in. I know it's like coming up to winter. And that's probably a less than ideal time to be fussing about getting more bodies in, but... Oh, new message. What do we get? Oh, it is tax time. Okay, we have 365 days to make our manor and uh, and collect some taxes. We have to be able to collect uh, five taxes. Not a lot. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 161, what? No, no, no. No, King's Demand. Not 161 days. That's troubling. Okay, we might actually legit need to have that done in 161 days, which would be absolutely horrible. We gotta make a manor house. I'm gonna make it up here. But that's for. It's not even available, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can get the Bailey going. That's fine. Uh, let's say we start. Let's have the Bailey here. We're gonna build this wall. It's a lovely thing. Uh, this beauty is gonna run along here. Oh, I just realized I don't actually want. To confirm that plot right there yet. And we're gonna run up the hill. We're gonna have a little bit of a, a straight line across here. Back down the hill a little. Nice straight line over here. Boom. Connect. Aha. And then we need to put a gatehouse. Oh, that'll fit perfectly. Come on, people. Get to nice. Work. And then this guy can go into there. Kind of like I planned it, because that was the plan, but didn't know it would actually fit right. And then we need to make the manor house, which is going to be here. Come on, attack. No, it's doing that glitchy thing where it doesn't... Ugh. Mm, not ideal. It's supposed to link onto that, but it's not. So let's uh, delete that beauty and delete that beauty. All right. Hold on. Try again. There is, a, there is something glitchy about this thing. Um... Let's see. It might be the layout of the the um, the walls. Let's adjust curvature, control, and no curvature, please. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go straight up here. Uh, not there. We're gonna go like this. This. Uh, let's go across like that, that, and that. Construct. And it's not clipping. It's supposed to link to the edge there. But it is not. And now our... What? Hmm. Seems like that should not be laying into the ground. This, this is not working at all. Restructure. Restructure. Alright. Um, try again. Let's, uh, let's do it a little different and do it from this side. Sure. Um, like that. I don't mind the front being a little curvy. Maybe it's just too... Uh, it's just too curvy. There we go. Aha! 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 Okay, why is it not clicking? Okay, that's awkward. I need a, an access road there. Let's get to work! Sure. And then take the road out here. That might it might have worked. Hold on. You go to there. Mm-hmm. Nice avenue leading up to the manor house. Come on, manor house. Link to and now it won't. <sighs> Frustrating. Okay, this guy is clearly not working there. Now try the manor house. Nope. You just won't it won't attach to the wall, which it has to in order to for it to work. It'll leak. It's, it's acting like it has no access to a road. Which, of course, is not accurate. Mm. Frustrations galore. There. 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 It might be the hill. 
this here, but I don't think so. I've, I've had it up there before, so. I've done this shape before, got it to work. Okay, stop the snap too. It, it has to snap. And it's not snapping. That's really annoying. I don't can't explain how many times this has frustrated me. Okay, now that's now it's repositioned again. Um No, don't remove that road. I don't want to remove the road. Let's remove the Bailey again. See if we can put the wall in such a way that that works. I don't know. Sure. That's it's not it's not accepting me to conclude the construction. Because this is here. But if I don't put it in, then it doesn't link. I, I had this issue before, so we'll we'll get through it. I promise you. What ended up happening is I actually proved that I could get it to work by connecting it somewhere else, building an entirely separate location. Get to work. Why is that not connecting? Is it the resources shortage? Ten logs and I have none. Oh, okay. All right, let's let them run then. Hopefully that'll happen. I don't know. I don't know if they'll build it. We'll see. They can very easily get uh, uh, labor locked here. We got people working on stuff. If they if they build and have to tear down five times, then when that then that happens. It's an early access version. We're in the process here. Um, so we could do like smithing bloomery to get tools. That's fine. The malt house, if we can get some malt in and brewing, we can do that with barley. Barley is going to be either in the middle of town uh, or uh, down here or over here. I think we'll probably end up doing it over here because the terrain is more suitable. But again, we need some we need some work or other stuff there. It's October now, so we're getting close to the end of the use of these uh, foragers. Are they done? Not quite. There's still some number of berries over here. Another family's moved in. Apparently, oops, wrong button. Apparently, it does not want me to. Come on. See this overlay. Just decided it's not going to show me anymore. Yeah. There's some issues with this thing, for sure. And I've had issues again with this work not working. That's fine. We need the 10 log, 10 timber for it to work either which way. Uh, let's go ahead and add a personage on there. We are now officially out of food for the forger. Put the forging hut down again. Uh, firewood is 12 months, and I don't think that's accurate, but... Um, we do have seven months worth of food. So if we're looking at here, we got a lot of berries that time. We also have a solid amount of milk and eggs and not a lot of meat. So how's our meat situation? You guys have a herd up. Oh, it's not letting me see the herd. And I can't and I can't exit the game, save the game and, and reload it, which is like the thing you do early in early access games to fix them. Well, this is awkward. Um, but now, nope. I just can't tell that information. Well, that's going to be very, very disheartening. It seems like they're still getting animals, so maybe it'll sort itself out. Looks like we got the gatehouse in. That's good. There's zero logs. Storage limit reached of some sort. Now it doesn't mean we have zero logs. This is of course on the available. We have six timber, but they're all assigned somewhere. So this whole wall actually gets assignments as well. We have four new uh, families available. I'm going to leave them available. Unless such a thing as terrible disaster strikes, we should be able to get through the winter. How do we do on more oxen? We still haven't bought any. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Of course not. Because that whole time I had nobody working. All right, we're going to give another person there and there. We got a little bit extra work on the uh, sales front. We have three firewood cutters. Chompas. They seem to be okay. 
It's only December, but I'm going to drop it down by one. See if we can manage it at those numbers. So the, log the wall is starting to go up. That's good. And uh, still no logs available. I'd really like to have more uh, forestry. You're still not counting it as useful, huh? Well, I'm going to go ahead and say, fine, just do it, do your own thing and get us logs. That's a better choice. Oh, that wasn't meant to be a sweet little curve, but okay. We'll take it. Now, this is a little disheartening. 67 days until annual tax paid, but this is, quest says the first tax quest is only... It gave us a year, but... Lovely, Bell. Fun little thing. You can change the bell. Let's go with that one. That one sounds a little... I don't know what. <laughs> little awesome. Uh, we have the extra body. We could put somebody Let's in there and then go into the market here and say, uh, resource-wise, let's find some iron ore. Right down here. And we can sell export when it's over 10. Sure. Fine. Only three bucks a piece, but that person's work might come in handy for cash making. Uh, we're sitting at 78 bucks. Our food stocks have dwindled a little, but it's now January, so it's not surprising. It says we have 10 months worth of firewood. Not sure I believe them, but we'll let it fly for now. For now. This will warn us with a red if it gets below three months, I believe. Good chunk of sail there as well. Wonderful. Are we able to build... Still no timber. Jeepers, guys. Come on. Have you gotten any timber in? Like at all? Are you all doing uh, other things? You guys are probably all assigned to the wrong thing. Let's sit, switch this down to zero. Priority. Let's see now if they're going to do anything. That thing tends to get... I find it tends to get people stuck on jobs. Like that guy was... They're all waiting. What are you guys waiting for? Going inside. Like, waiting doesn't make any sense right now. You have you have logs to cut. We definitely need them. Ask ID. Didn't catch what it was. Going inside. Waiting. Waiting. Yeah, there's something wrong with the logging camp. Pause the logging camp. Let's unpause the logging camp. You guys going to get to work now? Ah, felling a tree, felling a tree, and felling a tree. Okay. Cool. I like it. Little reboot didn't hurt there. Oh, oh. Oh, it is still te it is still uh, linking up there. That's good. Now the logs are coming in. Oh, Drake's getting happy, excited about this. 138 bucks, and we're way over time at 42 minutes on this video already. So we're going to leave it there. It is February. It's not a very snowy February. Uh, on, uh, our second year, we've made it through a little further. We got the church up. We got a lot more housing going. We got our manor starting to get planned. This is exciting. Uh, we'll need the, uh, cloth works, the weavery, and the leather to produce things. So if we look at one of these houses, it should say, yep, yeah, there's a little diamond there, which means they have one type of clothing. So cloth, clothing in this case, all they need is cloth, leather, or yarn. They don't need the finished leather shirts and hats and cloth shirts and hats and all the rest of it. They just need to have access to the material because uh, they do all that stuff at home. But that's great so far. I think things are going okay. That's going to be it for today. Thank you everybody so much. Hopefully we get this this uh, thing sorted before we uh, get in trouble in the next seven days from the king. I don't know if that's a... Uh, this might just be a an annual like timer but doesn't kick in until this one. I've never seen an issue with this like this before, so we'll see. But thanks, everybody. Have yourselves a great day. Hit the like button before you head out, will you? We'll see you in game.